Now I want to go through volume patterns because these can substantiate and back up what we're doing in terms of the actual price patterns on the chart. Let's have a look at bullish volume patterns. Now what I mean by volume is the number of shares trading on any one particular day. So let's have a look. Here we have a stock price going up and what we also have is volume going up, i.e. more shares being traded as the stock price rises. This infers that there are more buyers and there is more action as the price is increasing. So this suggests that the stock price could continue to rise. Of course, it's not going to rise like that forever, but it is a bullish indicator. Similarly, if a stock price is going down, but volume is also going down, it seems to suggest that there isn't much conviction in this downward move, and therefore that is a potentially bullish sign. And you'll see exactly how that works a little bit later on. So let's have a look at some volume consolidation going back to that chart that we had before. And as you can see, I've highlighted the flag at the top, but I've also highlighted down at the bottom of the screen the volume bars. And as you can see, as the flag is forming, volume has gone down considerably, steadily, but considerably. There, you can see it with the arrow. Now let's look at some bearish volume patterns. The stock price is rising, but the volume is decreasing. What this diagram is showing us is that as the stock price is rising, the volume is falling, i.e. it's suggesting that there is not much conviction in this up move. The up move is not supported by decent volume. Volume is actually tailing off, which means at some point the rise is likely to stop and then a fall will happen, or at least that's the suggestion. Therefore, this kind of volume pattern with a rising stock price is a bearish pattern. As you can see, the blue arrow is indicating the stock price going up and the vertical bars are showing volume going down. This is saying that as the stock price is going up, there is no conviction in that move. Decreasing volume and increasing stock prices is a bearish pattern. Similarly, decreasing stock prices with increasing volume is also bearish because there is conviction in this down move, i.e. sellers are joining the selling party. Let's have a look at another volume consolidation pattern. Here we have a bear flag, the stock price is on its way down, it consolidates for a couple of bars, and as we can see down below, the volume is also going down roughly at that area too. But look at this next one, it gets even better. At the very end of the chart, you get this beautiful bear flag, which is also accompanied by a beautiful volume consolidation pattern as well, i.e. as that bear flag consolidates, the volume also consolidates too, and we'll be taking a look at this chart a little later and see what happened next, but no prizes for guessing what did happen, and I can assure you that what did happen was wonderful stuff. The next volume pattern I want to talk about is volume spikes. Now this is something quite different. A volume spike happens where we may hit a high or a low which is also accompanied by a very sharp rise in volume which is highly noticeable in the charts. So here we have one in October and here we have one in January. Now the January one is much more pronounced. Look at how much higher that volume bar is in the middle of January as the stock hits a low of about $43.50. Look at that volume bar. It is way above all the other volume bars and what this can often highlight or indicate is a change in direction. Now, volume spikes are not necessarily directly related to the way in which we trade flags. However, when it comes to knowing when to exit a trade with a profit, then it's useful to be familiar with the concept of volume spikes because they may well indicate to us that our time to trade this stock is over and we should be taking our profits sooner rather than later. That concludes this overview of technical analysis for flag patterns. What we're now going to do is an overview of fundamental analysis.